Hey, it's Zell. Today, I want to share some shortcuts I use with VS Code on a daily basis. Here's a list of what we are going to go through today. Two things before we dive into the shortcuts. First, I use a Mac, so I'm only going to share with you the Mac keyboard shortcuts. If you use a Windows machine, you can make use of most shortcuts by replacing command with control. If that doesn't work, you may have to Google a little bit for the shortcut that you are looking for. Second, some of the shortcuts that you will see in this video might not be native to VS Code. This is because I switched over from Sublime Text to VS Code and when I switched over, I used the Sublime Text key map extension to port over Sublime Text shortcuts. You can install the Sublime Key Map extension by opening up the marketplace and typing Sublime Key Map. Now with that, let us go into the shortcuts for today. To open or close the sidebar, you use the Command B shortcut. It opens the current tab that you're on. In this case, right now I'm on the marketplace. To open the file explorer, you use Command Shift E. To open the marketplace, you use Command Shift X. When you open a folder with Visual Studio Code, it keeps tracks of these folders as workspaces. To switch between workspaces, you can use Control R. Then select the workspace that you like. VS Code has a built-in terminal that navigates to the current project's directory. To open the terminal, you can use Control plus tilde. I only use this terminal when I use simple one-off commands like HTTP server. When I need a dedicated terminal, I switch over to item with my keyboard shortcut option space. To open a file, you can use command P, then type the file name that you would like to open. This can help you locate files quickly, even if your project is more complicated. To go to a specific line in VS Code, you can use Ctrl G, then type the line number you want to navigate to. Alternatively, you can use Command P, hit colon, then type the line number you want to navigate to. When you view a CSS file, a symbol is a selector. When you view a JavaScript file, a symbol is a variable. To find a symbol, you can hit Command R, then look for the symbol that you want. You can also type to make it easier for you. Likewise, in JavaScript, you can also look for the same symbol by typing. The command palette lets you execute tasks in VS Code. To bring up the command palette, you use Command Shift P. You can type any type of task in here. Like for example, if you want to change the language, you can say language. And VS Code allows you to choose between the different tasks that are available for you. If a keyboard shortcut exists for the task that you would like to use, VS Code also shows you a shortcut. When I code, I usually split the screen into two vertical panes. In VS Code, you can split up to three panes, but two is usually good enough for me. The original keyboard shortcut to split your editor is command backspace. In my case, command backspace feels a little bit clunky. So what I do is I change the keyboard shortcut to command option two. To switch keyboard shortcuts, you can open up the keyboard shortcut editor by hitting the command padlet, then look for open keyboard shortcuts. Then you search for the command that you would like to change the shortcut for, in this case, split editor. Over here, you'll find all the keyboard shortcuts for the same command. In this case, you can already see that VS Code Insiders has already set the keyboard shortcut to command option two. But this keyboard shortcut isn't present in the normal version of VS Code. So if you like to, you can hit the pencil icon then add the keyboard shortcut that you like to use. Hit enter and the keyboard shortcut will be replaced. When you create a new keyboard shortcut, you can find that keyboard shortcut in the keyboard shortcuts file. If you use settings sync, 
you can sync this keyboard shortcuts with other computers as well. VS Code also allows you to switch between splitting your editors vertically or horizontally. The default keyboard shortcut for that is Command Option 0. Command Option 0 feels a little bit weird to me, so I switch it to Command Option 1. If you would like to switch as well, the command you're looking for is Toggle Editor Group. Switch this to Command Option 1. You can open up a new tab by hitting Command P, which is the Go to File menu, or Command T. Both of them work the same way. To switch between tabs on the same editor view, you can use Command plus the number of the tab you want to switch to. Number 1 for the leftmost tab, number 2 for the second leftmost tab, and so on. To switch between editor views, you can use Ctrl 1 to select the leftmost editor, Ctrl 2 to select the second editor, Ctrl 3 to select the third editor, and so on. To close the tab, you can use Command W. When you close all tabs in an uh, editor view, the VS Code automatically collapses that view. To select a word in VS Code, you can use Command D. If you use Command D more than once, you will select the next occurrence and the next occurrence and the next occurrence together, and you can change all of them at once. If you want to select all instances of a word, you can use Command Control G. I am pretty sure that this keyboard shortcut is from Sublime Text. The same keyboard shortcut in VS Code is Command F2. To fold code, you can use Command Option left square brackets. This allows you to hide code that you may not want to see at this point. To unfold code, you can use Command Option right square bracket. To move a line of code upwards or downward, you can hold Option and use up or down. This moves that current line of code upwards or downwards. You can move multiple lines of code as well if you have selected them all. To split a selection into multiple lines, you can first select the things that you need, then hit Command Shift L. This splits every single line so you can type whatever that you need. If you want to move up and down a document quickly, there is no substitute for the page up and page down key. But on a Mac, we usually don't have those two keys. So what you can do is to use function up to activate page up and function down to activate page down. To jump to a specific word in VS Code, you want to install the extension Jumpy. Once you have installed Jumpy, you can search for a word through Jumpy by going into Jumpy word mode. In the word mode, Jumpy replaces all words with two characters. If you type the two characters, you can jump to the word itself. For example, if I want to jump to this view box number over here, I can type FF and I will jump to the word. I find this command pretty useful, so I like to set a keyboard shortcut for it. What I use is Command J because J stands for jump. So now when I press Command J, I go into jumpy word mode and I can jump around. Expand region is a shortcut that can only be used if you have installed the expand region extension. What expand region does is it selects a word that your cursor is on. If you hit expand region again, it selects up to the enclosing tag. If you hit expand region again, it selects the entire tag itself. And if you hit expand region one more time, it selects the enclosing tag for the current tag. I set a keyboard shortcut for expand region as command option up. And I also set a keyboard shortcut to undo the expand with command option down. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you like this video, I hope you hit the subscribe button below so I can send you one video like this every Friday. Or better yet, I hope you subscribe over at my blog at zeldwk.com and I can send you one video and one article every week to help you become a better front-end developer. Thanks for watching and have a nice weekend. Hope to see you next week.